The play as you like it comes from the book Rosalind. Only this time there is no Euphus in there, even though it's Euphus' golden legacy. We do have a match for Euphus, however. He has a long conversation with the main character, Rosalind, about how he is a traveler and he's a witty guy who wants to speak his mind to heal the world. He even has U-E-S at the end of his name. Jacques or Jacques, or if it's a silent J, could be Ox. When we enter the Forest of Arden, he is seemingly the main character. Everyone wants to know where is Jacques, and we find him singing a song about leaving his wealth and ease and turning to an ass. He's a very unhappy guy, and everybody seems to know that. And then he winds up back at camp, and suddenly he's very happy. And what has changed? A fool. A trick. A trick. I met a trick on the page. In the middle of his song, he calls fools into a circle. A fool is a trick, and a man is a circle. So here in the forest of Arden... He shall see all tricks as he. Now when he arrives back in camp all happy, it's because he's met one of these fools that he called into a circle. And in Act 5, we even find out who that fool was. And that fool, of course, is Touchstone. And we know Touchstone to be William. So he has so often met his wit on the page. So if Jacques is the main character, then we should look carefully at what he wants. Because supposedly, if Shakespeare is a good writer, the character should achieve his objective. So what is it that Ox wants? He wants to speak his mind and share his thoughts that he thinks will heal the world. And as the senior nobleman objects and says, you will make us look bad, Ox claims, well, who the heck is going to know? Right, and right as he brings up discussion of claim, who enters? Orlando. Orlando is the writer in the Forest of Arden. He is the part of De Vere that is the writer, romantic in love. And it's fitting that the renowned land gets credit for the works, because that's all we really know about William Shakespeare. He was a writer in Elizabethan England. And then Orlando begins to shout the name of the real writer right after there's talk about claim. Four times in a row, if ever, if ever, if ever. Now let's pause here on this idea, if. Now if is the final word given to Touchstone. And he goes into quite an in-depth discussion about if as it pertains to a direct lie. And as long as we're here in the final scene, let's look at the instances of seven throughout this play. Someday somebody will figure out there's some sort of mathematical code here. But when we sift through all of it, there is something that makes sense that it all leads to a lie. And the lie is the direct lie on the seventh cause. And a cause is a person or a thing. And for the purposes of this argument, a lie seven times removed brings us back to Ox. Now before we leave this final scene to go back to work in sequence, let's ask ourselves, did Ox achieve his objective? Hmm, how is he supposed to heal the world with his thoughts in a cave in the forest? And then we get back to the Forest of Arden, where Orlando is now riding on the trees about Roseland. And from that point on, it's clear that he is the writer in the Forest of Arden, the romantic one. And he meets up with Ox, who is obviously the cynical one. And notice when these two meet up in scene 3.2, they have no reason to hate each other. Because they don't hate each other, they are two aspects of one man. One is cynical toward love, and one is hopeful toward love.
which I take to be either a trick or a code. But obviously they don't really hate each other because right after they get done ripping on each other, Ox asks Orlando if he will sit down and rail against the world. And what is his answer to that? Then the next time the two of them meet up, it is as Ox is boring Rosalind with his stories of travel and sadness, and then she wishes someone fun would come along. Someone romantic. Then Ox says something fitting to himself, his younger self, as he passes him by.